All right, today we are gonna be looking at a director's chair from Tuscany Pro. Be seen, heard, and better understood through virtual gatherings. Elevate your message with corporate streams. This is the 29 inch high boy uh, director's chair that we have from Tuscany. I bought this off of Amazon. Actually, I've bought four of these off of Amazon. Three I purchased about a year ago, maybe eight months ago, somewhere in that ballpark. I purchased a fourth because I like them so much. I'm actually, I know you can't see this now, but I'm actually sitting in one of the older chairs now. And uh, I have to say it is a very, very comfortable director's chair. Um, so we're gonna be looking at this one a little bit closer and we're gonna be comparing it to the standard old school chair that you see here. Um, this is one that I used on a commercial shoot for a long time. Um, it actually broke and I glued the wood to put it back together because the production company was throwing it away. And I um, do a little bit of handy stuff. Obviously we're in the garage now um, and that kind of shows you and so I was able to repair this chair and use it on set for a little bit. So now uh, I'm adding a fourth of the black chairs to my arsenal. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way and look a little bit closer at this chair. Um, this, this table kind of hides it because it's also black. So I'm gonna get rid of the table and we're gonna look a little closer at the chair. All right, so we do have a crossbar at your feet. I wouldn't necessarily recommend standing on this piece. It is aluminum because it's a lightweight chair. It obviously can support the weight of your feet. It does have a fold-out cup holder here. There is a lock right here, and that holds in place. You can put your cell phone here, a cup, or uh, make this into a working station. And so you would push this down and away from you. So kind of push that out. On the other side, there are pockets. So we can look a little bit closer to that with the uh, chair that I just ordered. So that's, this is uh, the same thing. So to set this chair up out of the box, we are gonna kind of separate it here. The butt cushion here, kind of gets pushed down into place and that kind of snaps in there. And so that's how you push this down and then you would, to reverse it, you would basically just pick up on here and it folds into itself. Hey everybody, Noah from Pro's Production here. Something I didn't mention during the shooting, there is a footrest that can also lock into place. And so if that footrest is locked, no matter how much pulling you do, it's not gonna fold up and release. So to collapse this chair, don't forget to unlock the footrest or pull up on that crossbar by your feet. That way folding up the chair is easy. So let's get back to the video. Now that does take a little bit of strength. It does take a lot, uh, a little bit of effort to collapse and to expand this chair. So just keep that in mind, especially when you first get this chair. This chair does have a cup holder here on the side and you can lock the front and the back of this cup holder. I am noticing that this second generation one that I have here, I don't know, it might be the fifth generation for I know, uh, the cup holder is now inverted. And so basically uh, you have a little bit of a catch tray that's built into this newer one, which is kind of cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and collapse that. So looking at the left side of it, you do have a pocket system here. And so you can put stuff on the sides, you can put uh, stuff on the outside so you can kind of see through that pocket. And this is rated for 375 pounds, I believe. And so on the front of this here, it's kind of hard to see, but you actually have this Velcro strip. And so you could uh, have a custom logo put on here. You can have something uh, attached to this piece, which could basically Velcro onto the front. I will point out that uh, on my older chairs, on the older generation, you could do the same on the back. So for this particular one, maybe kind of hard to see, but there is a pocket instead on the back. And so you could put more stuff in the pocket. I think I might look into adding Velcro here to see if I can make the back like the old chairs, but I do like the functionality of having a pocket in the back. Um, this chair is extremely light, so it's, it's definitely different than the um, wooden chairs which have a little bit more weight to them. So I will take a weight uh, with a scale to, to let you know what each one weighs. I'll show that on the screen now. That way you can see the difference between this chair and the wooden chair. Also one of those things that's hard to see, but on the very bottom there is a catch for uh, stuff as well. If you wanna put something below the chair, you can easily catch that as well. So yeah, very comfortable chair, something I've, I've enjoyed so far on set. And like I said, this is the fourth one that I bought. So this is what the old director's chair looks like. It's your pretty standard director's chair. To fold this up and to put it up, you would have to basically take off the side here. And um, we've, looks like we the, somebody glued this side on. Sometimes these chairs come and this, this side falls off as well, which can be a bit of a headache. So basically you would fold these down. Uh, you would carefully try not to pinch your fingers as you release the two latches underneath, just like this and then this thing folds up. 
Um, and then what I would do is flip it over, usually on the ground, but because I'm demoing this from the camera, I'm gonna do it on my lap. Uh, you would take this, wrap it around the legs first. Woohoo! Kinda awkward on camera, huh? And then you would fold it around the second arm like that, and then everything would stay together. Now you've probably noticed that I put some tennis balls on the top of these here. And that's because the feet have fallen off in some spots. And so to keep it even, um, I just removed all of the feet and went with these tennis balls, which also helps protect the floor from scratches. So I guess I could have added other feet back to this, but it's it was a salvage chair. So I was trying to uh, save, reduce, reuse, recycle, all of those fun words. Um, and so a tennis ball worked fine for, for my purposes here. I'll also point out this, this platform's a little bit finicky. Sometimes you'll see it slip uh, on some of these director's chairs, um, which is another reason to upgrade to the Tuscany chairs instead. So overall, these wooden chairs will do in a pinch, but uh, if you have uh, the choice and you're gonna buy a new one, you might as well get the Tuscany. So that is our first look at the Tuscany Pro 29 inch director's chair.